Hi guys, it's Dona, and in today's video we are going to be looking at more secrets in the Mimic Chapter 1 because you guys absolutely loved my video yesterday. It had 12 views and I automatically received comments on my phone at about 8 o'clock last night and I was like, wow, the viewers are literally loving this. So, but this time we're going to be doing it on Nightmare Mode instead. It's just going to be giving a little bit more information but on a different place. So we're going to go into this one quickly. We go. Just take my head on the lamp there. Okay. Should be teleporting now. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to show you some secrets that are in nightmare mode. Um, you guys might like it. And because it is a Saturday, we might have Layla recording a video with us today, which would be very exciting. So we are going to start off now. This is also um, there are also some mega glitches that you can also find um, if it's glitching for you. Like you can almost like see through walls. Um, once I saw like these wood planks up against the wall because it was like literally glitching. I was like, wow. Anyway, so first of all, we're just going to sprint along here. Now, obviously, you know that some doors are inaccessible. So like if you click on it, it's like new. No. So let's just go around here. So I'm going to show you also the differences and also the creepy parts. So we're going to start by inspecting the locker room. Now the locker room has a bunch of these little weird walls and the locker room actually has cubicles in it. If you guys didn't know that, it has cubicles in it. Um, like I said in the last video, I love how graphic the toilet that is and then how, but then how ungraphic the uh, thing is. Sorry if you can hear stuff outside, it's a lorry. But um yeah, if you just look, look, it's, it's, ugh, I don't get it. Uh, yeah, anyway, so there's also this door that has been blocked off, which is definitely weird. Um, I don't know why they're blocking off doors. It could have been from the outside. Obviously, uh, obviously we can't use this door, but we can climb on top of it, guys. Um, you can climb on top and try to access the door, but it doesn't work anyway, so there's no point trying. So what we're going to do now is head back to the red footprint and we're going to start um as well with some more secrets about the game so yeah i think you guys were really fascinated with the um with the whole cherry blossom note and you guys were like oh this is actually starting to make sense so uh yeah um that that's basically it so let's just follow these footsteps now let's go get the key so I do have a couple of things to show you that are also out here that might make the game a little bit more understandable. Um, it's not in that room actually, surprisingly. It's over in that room over there. So let me go show you. Okay. Sprint, sprint, sprint. So we are here. So obviously if you open this door, this triangle or this star thing doesn't look like it's from heaven. It doesn't look like something very happy. This room doesn't really, um, apart from this beautiful bird here, um, obviously there's bin bags everywhere and these candles are lighting something. So this looks like something that might prove uh, about Abigail's bad side. Now obviously we know that Abigail is the mimic, uh, the girl with the black hair, um, but we know that Abigail is a bad person because she tries to find you, attack you. There's so many different things and so many different ways that she will try to hurt you. So this actually represents Abigail's other side. It looks as if it has either been painted, painted or carved into the floor. Um, that is one thing. Also, there's this key. Um, these bin bags also represent that Abigail might not be a clean person. She doesn't really like to make things tidy. She likes to make things messy and all over the place. Um, so that represents things about Abigail. Uh, some things that you might not have known. Also, there's one thing that you can do. So we're going to walk right to the end here. Uh, if we'll just go a bit quicker. Go to here. You can actually see the Sakura tree over there. See? Some of you might already notice that, so that's not one of the best secrets. The hell tri um, what I call it, hell's triangle, I call that thing. Because I don't know whether it's representing heaven or hell, but I think it's representing a hell sort of vibe um, that proves on Abigail. So the next part is actually this secret. Of what, the first thing is we're going to get out of the gym before we do this, because she's highly dangerous. There's that creature over there. So that creature looks like a spawn of Abigail, like a, a twin of Abigail. Um, so that is probably, um, like I said, a twin, um, 
obviously Abigail's just, her twins moved over there now. As you can see, that's not Abigail. Her hair, her hat is too black. As you can see, her frock looks too long. So that looks like almost a twin of Abigail. Now I'm very sorry if I got that wrong, but it does seem that way as if she's got a twin. So open up, because Abigail's going to kill me. So yeah, that's basically the twin of Abigail. Then there's this here, this tree. Let's go. Now, you can, if you want, pay attention to this picture. So if you look closely at this picture, right? This picture doesn't really mean anything at the game at this point. But um, if it looks like, if I, if I look closely at this picture, me and they were very confused at this bit. Was we were trying to find out what this picture meant when we first started playing. We were like, what does this picture mean? Uh, what do we do with it? Uh, does it represent something? We were very confused. If you look closely at the details in the picture, see that this girl looks nothing like Abigail or Kimora or Bonjo Cat or anything like that. She looks nothing like them. However, it looks like she is, again, evil. Very evil, which could also be representing Abigail. There are a lot of things here, including the cherry blossom note, the um, the diagram on the floor in the key room, and this poster that represents Abigail, which leads you up to the mimic to try and give you warning almost, and try to show you what she's like. So that's basically that thing. Ignore that. Now also, I'm very confused at this jump scare throughout there. So, but first of all, we're going to go into the room on the right. I think I did show this. We're just going to go over the note just in case it didn't see the last video. She likes to mimic them. Be cautious. Don't let yourself be deceived. Turn back now before it's too late. So this looks like a previous victim. You know what I mean? Somebody who's come here before. Uh, somebody who knows perhaps what Abigail is like. He's obviously stuck this on the floor because it says Leon. Obviously stuck this on the floor um, and tried to warn anybody else who might be coming throughout here that this person is evil. Um, and you shouldn't go too far in, turn back now before it's too late. But obviously that's not the point of the game to turn back, otherwise you don't get anywhere, you've got to continue on to make the game. Uh, our secrets are almost over guys, but there are still a couple more to come. There are plenty of secrets that I know about this game. So now we're just going to sprint to the end of the hall, yeah, 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 used to you now. So that's basically a jump scare that also represents Abigail. Everything in this game will represent Abigail and the real Mimic herself. Um, let's open this door. So this, this room looks like it's already been ruined by Abigail, and this poster is actually reading die. That Abigail has put this up. So you see, if you look closely now you can see this but yeah there she is but dream believe achieve that is like something that you would find like a drama room or something like that uh you know what drama is like music stuff like that but this post reading dies so this could be from abigail miss abigail herself she's gone now but i don't care yeah but that poster is representing her again so also this place looks quite old if you know what i mean obviously the store's inaccessible so i'll go to this room Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm trying to think that this is like a Bible. I'm trying to discover that what this book is. What is it? Um, I don't know. I need to know what that book is. It's really getting to my head. Um, yeah, and then there's obviously this note here, which reads, Hey, if you're reading this, I don't know how much longer you have left before you come into contact with her. Be careful out there, and whatever you do, don't go into that basement. The keys are in the room across this one. Please just throw it out. I couldn't do it myself. That key wasn't normal. It's cursed. If you choose to go in there, no promises you'll be making it back. So that is kind of like a note that's also quite secretive, if you know what I mean. So guys, those are all the secrets. Um, the reason that I didn't include the secrets in the last video is because I've already included them. Uh, please like if you like this video. Um, I was very appreciative from the amount of support that I got on the last video. So yeah, these are some more secrets that might relate you to Abigail. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.